Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to go over the process of how to add photos to your Google form. Now, this is a great way if you want to add visuals to your form and basically make it a little bit more appealing. So to begin, what you're first going to want to do is have a Google form already up. So here you can see we have a template up with all the sections already added. Then from here, as you can see, each section is clickable and once you've clicked it, it will show you a bunch of options that will allow you to edit each section. Now, when adding a photo, the photo will be specific to whichever section you select. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to add a photo to the dietary restriction section. So once you've clicked it, you can see that all your options will appear. And what we're going to want to look at is this button over here, which looks like a little square with two mountains in the center. So once you've clicked it, as you can see, we clicked it, it's going to show you that you can insert images using multiple methods. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is through uploading, where once you've selected browse, you can then you'll then be able to upload whichever photo you have currently saved on your computer. Another way to go at this without having to have the photo already downloaded is to go to your Google Drive. Now, if you already have the photo in your Google Drive, you can access it directly through here. So all you gotta do is select the Google Drive tab. You'll see the photo you wanna select, click it, and this little pop-up button should appear in the bottom right that says insert. So once you've inserted it, you just have to wait for the image to load and voila, you can see that we've added this photo to the dietary restriction section. Now, another great way to upload your photos without having to have them downloaded into your computer is through this other method called by URL. So go back to this little, to the buttons on the upper part of this page and you're going to select the by URL. As you can see, it's going to ask that you paste the URL of the image. So what you're gonna wanna do is basically go to another tab, search up the image you want. So you can see we have it already up here. Then you're gonna want to right click on the picture. And as you can see, there'll be a bunch of options you can select here. Now from here, you're gonna wanna look for copy image address. Make sure it's copy image address and not copy link address. We want the address of the image itself. So once you've selected copy image address, you can go back to the Google form, then paste that image address into this little tab over here. So as you can see, I'm just going to right click again and paste. Once you've pasted it, if the URL is correct and you've selected the right one, a preview of the photo should appear right here. So as you can see, our photos back up and from here, you can simply select insert image. Once again, wait for a bit and your photo should be uploaded as is. Now, the last method that I wanted to go over with you guys is the Google image search option. So if you were to go back to the, obviously you're gonna wanna click the button with the picture logo, then you're gonna wanna go back to this menu over here. If you go to the most right button, which is the Google image search button, you can see that you can actually just search for images on Google itself. So just for the purpose of this video, we're gonna search up food and look for a photo that we can upload. So I'm not really seeing the photo that I used a while ago, but any of these will do for now. So simply select the photo you want. Let's select the first one. And as you can see, you simply have to click insert since the insert button will pop up again once you selected a, a photo. So click insert, just wait for a moment and the photo should appear after a bit. Now. Hopefully this helps you better manage and upgrade your Google Forms. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help with online forms, check out the rest of our channel using the link below. See you next time.